my plot at Cube Crowd server. It's operated, it's, I guess you call it a fan server by the Zip Crowd. That's just my plot location. If you do plot me Granny Gamer 1, you'll come here to a jack o' lantern. And then you just follow around and you'll see where I've started working. My neighbor's doing terraforming. I don't know my neighbors. I don't know anybody on the server, really. A couple of people said hello to me and said they know me, but given my past experience on another creative server and how badly abused I was, I'm a little afraid to have any contact with people because I'm afraid they might be some of the trolls and um, troublemakers that were giving me so much you know, trouble over there. So I'm just being really, really careful. I am in contact with people from the forums and so on, and I plan to get involved in TeamSpeak, and I would like to learn a few tricks in, of the trade if they will be so kind as to start teaching me things. You know, I want to learn World Edit and Voxel Sniper always have. That got set back a year, didn't it? So what I want to do is a natural landscape, and I'm starting at build height, of course, because I like build height to bedrock in my knee. But this is basically a uh, guard tower, a defensive tower, built right into the landscape. So it's nothing real fancy. I mean, they didn't build it brick by brick, just, you know, fortified it and so on. These are cannons. I can't show you much because I'm in F1. But the cannons are coal blocks with dispensers that fire fire charges, and they actually do contain fire charges. And you can see them come out when you place this redstone torch. And there's a little, uh, you know, it activates the dispenser. You can see the fireball come out. It doesn't fly very far. It immediately disappears, and it doesn't cause any damage. But you can see it. I'm trying to build an entire, I don't know, like civilization on my plot. And I want to be very careful about details, so even building this, I was careful to go layer by layer and uh, outfit the interior as well as the exterior of each floor. It's not completely symmetrical, of course, because it goes off the end of my plot, but you get the general idea. There will be so much stuff that is symmetrical that it won't really matter. So the top floor is for cannons. I see I didn't build the stairs, right? This floor is for archers. You know, you can actually shoot a bow and arrow out of these gaps between stairs. So, uh, yeah. So, because that'll be lower down where the archers can actually see what's incoming and shoot them. But cannons, of course, are for distance trying to get people before they have a chance to get too close. I'm not big on military, but I understand they need to defend oneself, one's people. And the bottom floor that will go down into this house, which will be partly subterranean and will contain kitchens and uh, armory and, you know, all that stuff, all the stuff that the people on the guard towers will need. I want it to look good because these people are going to have to spend a lot of time up here and they don't need to be miserable. You know? That's one of the sides that faces out of my plot. This faces out of my plot too, but I want it to be sort of like good kind of thing. Might have too much pretty stuff, but no, if you're going to spend a lot of time in a place like this, I'm not saying they wouldn't take shifts and, you know, different soldiers would have uh, different times up here, but still, if you're going to be spending a lot of time up here, it doesn't need to be bleak and barren. Was it to the server well? Since I've been in 1.8.1, I've had some issues connecting to servers. You'll see I can't open doors. It's like I don't have permissions on my own plot. When I logged out and came back in after filming this, I was fine. I don't know what this means, but it's happening on lots of multiplayer servers. It doesn't matter where they are. It, I don't understand. I, my, I don't understand. I think I don't have a... I uh, wanted to tell you I'm spending a lot of time on details. I want to make sure that things look sharp and look like people are actually occupying spaces. You know? Not just big random hollow places that might look good from the exterior but have nothing in the inside. I want each of these builds to have a purpose. Each of the builds on my plot. 
whether or not I'll be allowed more plots or more permissions, I don't know. I'm not asking people to come and review my stuff. I'm just getting started. This is about two days work, two afternoons of work. So I haven't done very much yet. What's I going to tell you about? Oh, so I'm thinking that I will be on the Cube Crowd server probably on Mondays. I'm not sure times. Um, but uh, I don't know how to tell you to leave me a message on their forums, I suppose. CubeCrowd.net. That's where you can find out all the information about CubeCrowd. I kind of chose the server because, well, actually, Mary Diana, um, Italian woman, goes by the name Lapis Demon, that's her Indian name. When you first get to the server, you're going to come here. This is their spawn. I don't know if Lapis Demon is up there or not. I don't know. I have my render distance low just so that I could maneuver, you know, because it's a European server, it's kind of hard for me to get around. That's what I wanted to tell you. My upload speed is so throttled that that's why I can't communicate with the game well and that's why I've never been able to play well. I'm at 0.5 megs per second and it's recommended that people have at least 3 to 6 megs per second to play Minecraft well, especially with recording. So that's been my issue. The problem is that Getting that kind of upload speed would more than double my internet cost per month. And I'm trying to figure out how I could justify the expense. Or what else I could possibly cut out of my life to be able to upgrade my um, internet that bad. Oh, well. So, I'm sorry I'm not giving you a very good tour, but you can come here and check it out. I'm sure it's very impressive for people with more modern high-end gaming PCs, but I've only got what I've got, you know? So to get to creative, you go to one of these, right-click on the sign, and it takes you to the creative lobby. And then you can do plot me auto or plot me whoever plot you want to be at. It's decked out for Christmas right now, but I hope that'll be over soon go back to real life. They have building competitions and that kind of stuff. And I'll work up the nerve for it, but right now I just want to get on my way and learn my way around their server. They have TeamSpeak, they have forums on the internet, all that kind of stuff. They're very good about communication. Communication. And they're very welcoming. Uh, I don't feel like I'm not wanted here. Time will tell. So, let's see, Mondays, I'll probably spend a couple of hours, maybe in the morning my time, because it's too cold to go outside and do other stuff. So, let me see, I guess that would be like, maybe 8 to 10 a.m., something like that, my time, which is mountain time, because I'm in New Mexico. I'll try to put out a video a week letting you know about my progress. I've got people to um, collaborate with me on contraptions and um, interiors and rooms and landscaping and whatnot. But I think I would really kind of like this to be just my build. And if people have ideas for contraptions, they can show them to me on their plot. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and the other thing is, look, Apparently, I'm not connected to the skin servers. This keeps happening. On one server, I have one blue arm and one brown arm, and I don't know. I'm holding a uh, villager, but uh, entities don't spawn, so I mean, villager egg. So come by and visit, and I'll see you soon. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend.